I am on native land in the Klamath Mountain Eco Region. Land acknowledgments to the Confederated Tribes of Grand Ronde, the Confederated Tribes of Siletz, Takelma Modoc Cayuse, Umatilla Walla Walla, Cow Creek, Umqua, and Tolowa Dini. I recently attended a meeting to discuss the clear-cutting threat to Pipe Fork in Josephine County. Clear-cutting creates erosion, nutrient loss, makes forests vulnerable to disease, pests, invasive non-native flora, weakening its resilience and the resilience of surrounding forests. It can damage riparian ecosystems, contaminating water sources, or drying them up to extinction. It decreases biodiversity and increases the risk of high-intensity fires, which we as Oregonians and those on the West Coast are especially threatened with every year. Clear-cutting does not mimic natural disturbances, and it does not benefit wildlife. And there is no evidence that Native Americans clear-cut chunks out of their forests, so stop using them as an excuse to continue this unsustainable practice. There are sustainable selective thinning practices available, which Native Americans combined with controlled burns to build resilience to wildfires. Loggers need to understand that clear-cutting is bringing a host of problems to our planet and our local communities. Clear-cutting increases the threat to high-intensity wildfires because they create pockets of bare land easily ignited during the dry season, and the opportunity for fire to make the jump between immature understory and the canopies of mature trees on the borders of the clear-cut. Forests regulate climate and affect weather and local temperatures. They prevent erosion, hold moisture and nutrients in the soil. They provide barriers to extreme weather and can even slow the spread of fires. For those who don't know, sustainable thinning practices exist. In cooperation with proper fire management practices, it reduces the vulnerability that forests have to intense wildfires. For our long-term efforts, we need policies or laws that prevent clear-cutting and initiatives that help loggers learn how to do selective thinning in the most efficient and sustainable ways. And we also need that to be followed by control burns. Short-term is protecting our local forests and using our voice to let leaders know that clear-cutting in our communities is unacceptable. By using our voices and speaking up, we are saying that we do not support clear-cutting and unsustainable forestry practices. If we are all going to buy toilet paper, building materials, and other textiles from this resource, we all have the duty to demand that they remove these precious resources in sustainable ways. Oregonians, please educate yourself, protect your homes, protect this beautiful land that we all share. Josephine County officials are trying to clear cut a beautiful area in Pike Fork. If you are in or near Josephine County, there are some initiatives going on right now. If you can make yourself present at just one of these initiatives to protect the forest, you can be part of the community resilience that we all benefit from. Or if you can't make it, you can sign the petition in my bio. Thank you for your support in standing up for the forest. Live long and prosper.